So guys, the next topic that we have is users inside the database. Now, what are the users, how users are created, and how users access the database, those all details will understand in this topic. And we'll also understand how do you assign a table space to the users. So one view, the back, uh, the data dictionary view that helps you to identify the users inside the database are DBA underscore users. So let us look at this view first and then we'll discuss further. So describe db underscore users. In this one, can you see this username? That's the name with which you connect to the uh, database. The password, don't worry, you are not able to see the password. It is just there, it will show you blank. And then account status, what is the status of the account, whether it is active or expired. And then we have log date, if the account is locked, and then which date the account was locked, what is the password expiry date? And this is the one, what is the default table space? That means when you create a user, there is always a default table space that is assigned. Because see, if you are creating a user, definitely user will try to create tables, insert data. And if user is trying to do that, then there needs to be a default table space, which is assigned to the user. So this column will give you the details about the default table space that is assigned to the user. Then this column will give you the temporary table space that is assigned to the user. Now you might have a question like, can we have more temporary table spaces? Yes, you can. And then uh, you can define which temporary table space to be assigned to a user. But don't complicate these things until unless it is recommended inside the database don't go for more than one temporary table space so it keeps things organized depend depending on the scenario you might need to add more temporary table spaces and next is profile this is something we will understand about it uh, like what is profile and then we have this last login this is also important but most of the times it does not give you the real data about the last login there is other way to identify the last login that was done by the user. I think those are the important columns in, inside the db underscore users view. So let us look at what are the default users that gets created when you create a database. So select username from db underscore users. Can you see there are so many users inside the database? And now you might have a question like, we did not create these users. So from there, from where these users came into the system? All these users are default users. If you see, we always try to connect to the database using the sys user. We also have a system user. Don't get confused between system and the system table space. Those two are different things. We do have a system user also inside the um, database and then the one that you should know where is it okay I think uh, where is the okay. guys while we created this uh, database I think we did not create the default uh, dummy data we did not enable the dummy data and that's the reason we are not able to see the uh, scott user and the hr users don't worry we can recreate those users inside the database so for now if you see these are the users inside database and these are the users which will be used by oracle internally don't try to delete them if you feel like oh i didn't create this user let me uh, delete them don't do that and some users which are already created inside the database they are sometimes used when you use oracle database along with other applications so that's the reason it is not recommended for you to delete the default users that you get with the database all right 
So one question I remember somebody asked me earlier, what is the difference between DB underscore users? And then we also have uh, all underscore users. I think for the users, we won't get this data. So DBA underscore tables, then user underscore tables. And then we also have all underscore tables so there are three different levels of views that you can go inside data dictionary views now what are they we'll understand it now so first of all you need to understand something called as object namespace so object namespace so what is this namespace that means what type of object can you create inside the database based on one criteria or one user. So for example, if you create an EMP table and this table was created with the Scott user, then the Scott user cannot have another table called as employee or EMP. But you can always have another EMP table which is created by the HR user. You can always have another EMP table inside the database that is created by sys user. This can always happen inside the database. So that means how do you query the specific table? So this is just for freshers if you want to know. So select, select star from EMP. When you enter this command, what happens is let's take if you are connected to the database with the sys user, it will give the output from the sys employee table, the employee table that is owned by the sys user. Correct. If you are connected to the database with the HR user and you issue this command select star from EMP, then it will give the output from the employee table that is owned by the HR user. If you connect to the database with the Scott user, you issue the same command, it will give you the output from the employee table that is owned by the Scott user. But if from the sys user, you want to query the employee table that is owned by the HR, then the query changes a little bit. Select star from, you have to specify the username dot table name. So it becomes hr.emp. Now when you give this query, Oracle will not open the employee table that is owned by the sys user it will rather first go to the hr user and the employee table from the hr user will through the output this is the object namespace that means a table with the same name cannot be created inside one user but same table with the same name can be created by other users inside the database that's the first thing Second part is if you want to query a table, if you just give the table name, it will always give you the table data, which is owned by the same user with which you are connected to the database. If you are connected as sys and if you just issue select star from EMP, it will give you the data from the table that is owned by the sys user. If you want to query the same table, which is owned by other user, then you have to specify username dot table name and then the table which is owned by the other user it will be query so this is object namespaces and after object namespaces there is something called as okay we need to understand this i think uh, one of the prerequisites for, to become a dba is to know sql so if you already know SQL, you already know that we have something called as permissions. Permissions inside the database. So what you can do is, for example, this is the namespace. So in namespace, we discussed about same table name that is created by multiple users. But in permissions, we can have something like this. We have an employee table that is owned by Scott and for HR comma sys user or XYZ user, we give them select permission 
select permission on this employee table right we can definitely do that so all these users they can also query this table when we say query that means the permission is only select permission so they can view the data inside the employee table but they cannot update delete or modify the data because we need to give those permissions separately right so now we know two things one is object namespace the next one is permissions let me come to this part now so guys uh, like as i mentioned db underscore tables what it will do is it will give us the data about all the tables inside the database all right now the db underscore tables these kind of views can only be queried by sys user or any other user which has dba level privileges okay so like any uh, scott user cannot query db underscore tables the hr user cannot query db underscore tables only sys user can query db underscore tables now that we are at this topic i would want to query the db underscore tables and show you describe db underscore tables can you see these are the columns inside the db underscore tables view you can see owner table name and which table space the table resides we also have status and a lot of other details so let me quickly check the table name sorry select table underscore name from dba underscore tables sorry select table underscore name from db underscore tables now can you see we have 2106 rows now what are these tables these are the actual internal tables the default tables that come with your database because we did not create any of these tables right so when you install the database these are the default tables that come along with your database now these are the tables which are responsible to hold your uh, data dictionary data, the base tables, the system tables, the database performance tables, all these tables are right now on the screen. You can see they have some different naming convention. You will see dollars in between them. So as I mentioned with the default users, don't delete the default users. The same goes with the default tables. Don't ever touch these default tables otherwise you will corrupt your database right so how am i able to query this one because i am connected to the database as sys user okay so as i mentioned all the dba underscore views you can check only if you are connected as sys user or at, at a, at our a user who has a dba role now user underscore tables this view you use let's say i'm connected to the, the database as scott user right so i want to know as the scott user what all tables are owned or created by me right so the scott user will query user underscore tables so whatever user you are connected to the database the same user whatever tables that are owned by the user that will be shown in the user underscore tables so user owned data so db underscore will give you entire database level data whether it belongs to one uh, one user or 100 users it will be entire database related data but when you query user underscore tables it will only show the details about the tables that is owned by the particular user that you are connected to the database. I repeat, if you query any user underscore tables or user underscore XYZ, whatever view you want to query, it will show you the details that is owned by the user with which you are connected to the database. And all underscore tables will show you or the show I mean, of course, show you the details about the own plus permissions. So what all tables that are owned by the users and what all 
tables that the user has permissions to. All right. Now this applies to any type of view that you query. Of course, like DBA underscore users, this is a view. And in this case, all underscore users and users underscore users, these views will not exist. So that's why it, it becomes more important that you know this uh, namespace mechanism. So I will quickly show you how it works. Like, uh, okay, I'll try to draw it. So this is user underscore views. So I'll name it as, okay, I'll leave it like this. And above the user underscore, there will be another view, the top level view that will be all underscore. And on top of this, we have completely DBA underscore views. All right, so let's take I'm connected to the database as Scott user. So if I type user underscore table tables, what will happen? I will get the details of all the table owned by Scott, right? And if I type all underscore tables, then I'll get the details of all the tables that is owned by Scott plus all the tables to which Scott has permissions, right? If I query DBA underscore tables, I will get an error because Scott does not have DBA privileges. Very simple. So this DBA underscore views can be queried by only by sys user or any other user which has the DBA level privileges. So guys, these views, it's good to know, but 99.9% .9 you will always be working on the DBA underscore views you won't be looking at all and user views but it is good to know because this naming hierarchy you should know so that sometimes an application user comes and always asks you hey uh, you know what uh, i want to know all the tables that are owned by me you can always tell him to query user underscore okay user underscore tables so all the dba underscore views that we have seen it also has user underscore the same view name and all underscore same view name. All right, guys, any doubts in this object namespace before I move on to one new topic?